Okay, so you guys may seem it's very common as pets, dogs, and cats, right? You've seen that everywhere. Sometimes for many people, it's too common that they would rather just go ahead and purchase an exotic animal as a pet. Okay, so there's so many pet stores out there in the United States. Um, however, there's actually one in particular here in Fort Myers called Pet Kingdom which is actually located in the Burlington Coat um, Plaza. And when I first went in there, I was kind of amazed at all the different kind of animals that they actually had there that you would consider as a pet. And this is, this is actually from their um, website, from Pet Kingdom's website, and these are the animals that I seen when I first went in there. Um, they sell chameleons, they actually sell tortoises, which is kind of, Amazing because they actually had they actually sold the baby and they had like a fish tank and they actually had one roaming around the pet store which was kind of scary <laughs> but it was interesting <laughs> you know and they sold um, different kinds of spiders um, with scary names but they sold spiders um, they sold scorpions um, they even sell um, iguanas and as well as different kinds of snakes so I mean when I got out of there I was like. Okay, you know, I didn't think you could actually consider them as pets, but okay, I love them. So then I read an article called um, Adopt Exotic Animals as Pets um, from the website ASPCA, which mentioned that owning an exotic animal isn't really ideal to have. So with the survey that I did, and most of you guys um, did as well, I kind of concluded that you guys were somewhat aware on the effects that um, exotic animals did have. Um, so hopefully, um, I'm going to be talking, what? In a few minutes, I'm going to be mentioning um, ways and on how exotic animals can be harmful or an issue um, today. Okay, so these are my two main points. The first one is the consequences an exotic pet can bring to people. The second one is exotic pet stress towards living in an unnatural habitat. So I'm going to start explaining um, the reasons why it's dangerous to have or to own an exotic pet. So the first one is the consequences an exotic <coughs> pet can bring to people. Um, which the first one, as well as the same article, um, adopt an exotic pet an exotic animal as a pet from the website ASPCA mentioned that that when once you buy a, an exotic animal, they already they already have a disease or an infection in them. It also states that 70 to 90 percent um, of reptiles being sold uh, carry salmonella. So that's a picture of a little girl kissing a cute turtle. <laughs> Another one is um, when they attack. The same article um, <clears throat> states that that no matter how much a person tries to domesticate the animal, there is no way you actually control the animal just because it's already an exotic animal. Um, for instance, in the website ODDEE um, had an article that that was that was called top ten deadly um, exotic animal attack, and it was accessed in April two thousand ten from Glenda <coughs> Manro, and she mentioned that Kelly Waltz was doing her normal routine, cleaning the cages of the bear, and all of a sudden, I don't know where the bear just attacked her and eventually killed her. I mean, the bear was killed, but, you know, it was already too late, she had already died. So again, it goes back to the article stating that no matter how much you want to domesticate the animal, you really can't. So now that I talked a little bit about how it can be dangerous to a person, I want to talk a little bit on how it can be dangerous for the animal itself. So the second one is exotic pet stress towards living in an unnatural habitat. Um, again, with the same uh, website, ASPCA, um, from the article, Adopt an Exotic Animal as Pet, um, 
they mentioned that they have to go to some crucial stuff to become a pet for us. Um, sometimes people take their teeth out. Um, sometimes they cut their wings so they won't fly or even fly at all. And for me, the most heartbreaking one is they declaw the, the cats or any animal just so that person could be, con so, that, so that person could consider the pet safe in their perspective as a pet. So finally, I just wanted to, um, to, to kind of like know how it's harmful for a human and how it can be harmful for the animal itself. And I actually went through um, two of the main points, which are the consequences of exotic animals. The exotic pet can bring to people. The second one, exotic pet can stress towards living in an unnatural habitat. And hopefully by you guys listening to my speech, you guys will be able to have a little bit more information when someone that you can explain to that wants to buy an animal, how it can harm um, them as well as